Hey, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, since uh, I uh, am going to call uh, down to the federal courthouse uh, rather than take the trip during the, this uh, massive snowstorm, uh, Utah, uh, the Canyon School District, has only closed school once in its whole history. <laughs> this is the second time it's done that. That's how severe this snowstorm is. Uh, but uh, uh, if uh, you're coming to this site first and you're unfamiliar with my other videos, uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was sued by me and they lost as of uh, midnight the 1st of February 2020. And so it's official. The church lost. And none of you knew about it. <laughs> because I only have two viewers. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's a serious case. Uh, 219 CV 00711. And uh, uh, it, I won. The church, uh, in this request for relief... Uh, had, they have to shut down their doors and they either give me a check uh, by selling all their property uh, taking care of all their their uh, debts and and obligations to uh, people they that have they've lost to and, and settled with in court cases uh, and all the wages and all that stuff uh, or they hand over the keys. That's the other option. And I put that option in there uh, to uh, preserve uh, the religious portion of the organization. As I stipulated in the nature of the case, uh, that the church wants to claim that the corporation and the religion entities are one and the same. And I said no. And I demonstrated how they are separate. And, uh, and so, uh, if for the sake of preserving a religious entity protected by the First Amendment, uh, I'll take it over and restore it, removing the criminal elements from it, such as protectionist money and the use of tithing. Tithing was supposed to be charity. Uh, that's what Malachi was talking about. Uh, wherein have you robbed me? in tithes and offerings. Uh, prove me now herewith. Uh, I can't quote because <laughs> I don't have it up on the screen to read. Uh, but uh, the tithings. He specifies separation from tithes and offerings and then says tithes, bringing all the tithes into my storehouse. The bishop storehouses are supposed to be funded with tithing, not fast offerings, tithing. <laughs> but Lorenzo Snow made that official declaration in St. George way back yonder after the church was allowed back into the United States after the, the Edmunds Tucker Act where they were disbanded. And in order to pay off their debts, uh, Lorenzo Snow said, Hey, I got this great idea. There's an American criminal organization going on right now in the United States. Why don't we follow their pattern? And instead of sanitation, we'll be religion. And thus it began. All right. So uh, I, I picked up two more videos to uh, bring up. Uh, so let's decide which one we're going to do for this one. Uh, I already talked about the three previous ones I'd come up with. Church in default, illegally held church on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> uh, the uh, LDS Big Brother uh, leaks information to LDS Church that it's, it's over. Uh, Article of Faith number 12, we believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, magistrates, and obeying, honoring, and sustaining the law. 
Oops, they gotta comply. Uh, and uh, uh, some new ones <laughs> that I've come up with. This is a hilarious blasphemous one. <laughs> I, I hope I can get through it. It's just a title. <laughs> LDS Vatican Italy Temple sold at federal auction for 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I might have to take a while before I calm down or after I calm down <laughs> to do that one. <laughs> And then uh, the other one I came up with, uh, Utah Snowstorm Closure, symbol of LDS Church Closure. <laughs> oh, man. Concerned now that money's going to corrupt me, <laughs> and that absolute power corrupts absolutely, <laughs> or uh, whatever that. <laughs> uh, I've already done the videos, uh, so if this is your first time watching and you're like horrified, oh no, what's going to happen now? <laughs> if the the church has <laughs> this is over. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> and you do know Judas is uh, the Greek form of the Hebrew Judah. And if you've been paying attention to my other videos, uh, Judah uh, in its proper phonetics, Yehuda or Yuda uh, in its shorter form. <sighs> is the phonetic equivalent of Utah. The T and the D being the same. And if you're like, what? No. Well, spell the word past. Exactly. Which past? And, uh... Whew. <laughs> so Utah betrayed the church. <laughs> For 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> comedy movie obviously but I can't remember the source origin <laughs> it could be from Talladega Nights they had the other one of baby Jesus <laughs> oh man uh, so uh, yeah I think this became the video in and of itself now but uh, those are two more titles to do videos on, because that's how I'm switching it now. <coughs> no more talking about uh, the church did this and the church did that. Now it's the church must end. It's over. 
Hand over the keys, guys. There's my two trillion. <laughs> my two trillion! I want my two trillion! Instead of two dollars. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, if you're like uh, all stressed out and worried that uh, God has been defeated. <laughs> God's true church has been con confounded. <laughs> then you haven't been studying your scriptures, Mormons. Uh, but uh, uh, it's my full intention to be a charity. A real charity. Not uh, making myself rich and giving token displays on the news. See, look, I'm giving this kid a brand new bicycle. Want to ride my bicycle? Uh, no, we're we're talking um, massive charity. Uh, with all the hoarding the church has been doing, there is just so much to restore damage that the church has caused by hoarding money. Because the one thing we poor know is you cannot save when you're poor. You need to spend every single penny, even though a penny is worthless. Uh, you, you can't save. You can't set aside for retirement. You can't set aside for a rainy day. You can't set aside for uh, any uh, future uh, um, maladies of any kind. You know, hospital bills or. Uh, um, damage to property or loss of property or replacements of things uh, the poor don't get that luxury and that's the one thing that uh, people who are not poor don't understand we can't save we need to spend everything because we're not even given enough <sighs> so yeah I'm I will be turning uh, the church, or I will be creating a, a, an actual charity that will be giving. <sighs> and uh, if it's a matter of handing over the keys of the whole operation, then yes, the religion will continue, just minus all of the criminal activities associated with the religion. And so uh, uh, it will be made much simpler and will restore its ancient origins. As I've been talking about, uh, the most obvious of examples, uh, remember the sacrament, guys, where the various members of the body of Christ assemble together at the church, to partake of the broken bread to the assembled members of the body catching on to the symbolism well where in the New Testament Gospels does it indicate that Jesus' body was broken um where nowhere in fact they're trying to claim that the prophecy is is that the Messiah is not to have a bone broken? Huh. Which is why the sacrifices in the ancient temple were that you are not to break the bones of the sacrifice? Hmm. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. What broken bread, but then broken sacrifice? What's going on, Travis? <laughs> Dos Messiahs. Two Jesuses. And that's what's going on. And uh, if you understood Egyptian, you'd understand who those two are that have been confused and mixed. And well, as the great and abominable Church did in the Book of Nephi, <laughs> uh, they uh, took out many of the plain and precious parts of the Bible. That was one of them. That was the major one. And so, yeah, uh, 
religion will be restored if the keys are handed over, uh, and the church will become a charity instead of a criminal organization. And then the uh, 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 if they uh, sell off everything and give me a check, uh, then I'll turn it into a a, a corporate charity and uh, go from there. Be an actual charity. <sighs> Thirty pieces of silver. <laughs> Uh -huh. That would be very interesting when I reveal the uh, amount that the church uh, had or ended up giving to me in a check, uh, that it becomes like 30 trillion. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, that would expose the biggest crime organization ever. The richest crime organization ever. Uh, far beyond the 18th dynasty of Egypt. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty.